In this one, I just wanted to talk a little bit about troubleshooting and how you go about doing it. It's not quite maybe as simple as you would think. I experimented with quite a few things when I first got in this business. Uh, I had taken some training, uh, but there was still an awful lot of things to learn about how to troubleshoot and not miss things. Troubleshooting is kind of a series of mistakes. You try one thing, doesn't work. Try another thing, doesn't work. And hopefully eventually you get to where you're, you're going. And it's a, it's a method of honing in on the problem. Where you have a vast array of things that could be the problem, you start eliminating things until you get down to uh, one or two possible issues. And you need to develop how you're going to do it. I, I like to say methodical and methodical is the key to this. When you go on a job and you say, well, okay, nothing happens. It turns on the thermostat, nothing happens. Okay, you have a place to start there. You know, you want to find out if there's power to the unit. And develop a method so that if the symptoms are such and such, you start out in one spot and then you go to the next and the next. You know, it's like if there's nothing happening, is there any power to the furnace? You know, you turn on the fan switch to see if the fan comes on. Uh, you look at the thermostat, see if the display is there. That sort of thing gives you an idea of where you're, you can start out with. And don't miss any steps. The biggest mistake that I have made over the years and other texts that I've uh, watched, the biggest mistake they have made is jumping to a conclusion. You may have many times when you come onto a furnace and the, the burner comes on, it's on for uh, a few seconds and then it shuts off and you think, oh, that's flame rot and you think you've figured the problem. Well, probably 80% of the time that's going to be true, but that other 20% of the time it's not going to be true. And so you need to, to methodically work through each one of the systems. Start at the beginning where you've established it. And most guys kind of have to decide this for themselves, how they establish where they start out and continue with each step in step. What I found over the years, the, the failures that really get us the worst, or maybe multiple service techs have been out, are simple. You've gone past all the simple things because you've jumped over a couple of things and you're, you're off in the weeds someplace with, you know, is my control board bad and all this sort of stuff when all you really have is water in the condensate drain. The condensate drain's plugged up. Uh, and you've gone on to where you think the board's bad. And that's not it at all. It's just a very simple thing. Uh, the furnace is overheating, first thing you think, I'll filter. Yeah, usually is, usually is. But then it continues and you think, oh, well, plug coil and coil's okay. But maybe you never thought to check the gas input. And if the gas input's too high, it's going to overheat no matter what you do. So there's all kinds of things that, that come in here and everybody has to work their way through it themselves and decide on their own way to do it. But methodical troubleshooting is going to get you where you want to go every time. Try to eliminate uh, distractions, 
customers are great at distraction. They, they distract you all the time and you have to be respectful, but you have to go back and start where you ended up. You know, they're wanting to say, well, did you do this, did you do this? And no, you, you have to follow your, your sequence each time. If you do that, you won't be the fastest service tech out there but you can develop a system where you miss very few things. So that's what I would tell you to do when you're, uh, when you're starting out in this troubleshooting is uh, you know, get your methodical uh, system in and use it every time. Okay, hope that helps.